So I've been asked by quite a few people about how to apply nail decals. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial video on the different methods that I use. So sometimes I'll use tweezers, sometimes I'll use the jelly stamper. And I'm basically just gonna go through both ways of using the nail decals and just tell you a little bit about my nail decals. So to start off with, I have got myself a clear jelly stamper, which is perfect for applying nail decals as you can actually see through. So when you are applying the nail decal to the nail, you can make sure you get your positioning right while doing it with a jelly stamper. I have taken the lid from my jelly stamper and just filled it up with a little bit of just tap water, just room temperature, it doesn't have to be hot, doesn't have to be cold. I then have my nail swatch which is prepared so I have put white down as my base um, with my nail decals you do need to use a light or white base as they are semi-transparent um, but I will explain that on a different light colour in a second. So I have my base coat on, my colour on and then I have also added another base coat and cured that. So this nail is actually tacky at the moment. So the best way to apply nail decals is onto a tacky base coat layer. I have my tweezers, which I can use for picking up my nail decals and a pair of scissors for obvious reasons and my nail decals. So these are my autumn florals. And as you can see, there is some flowers, some with little pumpkins, and there's lots of different sizes as well. So they work for the thumbs, they work for the little fingers. We've got some teeny tiny ones, medium, and then a couple of larger ones. And the way that I design my nail decals is you will get half of your sheet on this side, the left hand, and half of your sheet on this side, the right hand, and the images are actually flipped. So when you are creating a set of nails, you can make both hand identical, but obviously in opposite directions. Um, you'll know what I mean if you do nails. So to start off with, I'm just gonna move everything out of the way, just to one side. And I think we will go with, um, I quite like this one here with the little pumpkin on. So, I'm just going to take my scissors, cut very carefully around the decals I'm not using. It doesn't have to be neat, just as long as you are getting as close to the image as possible. I'm being careful not to cut any of those other images that you might use at a later date on a different manicure. So. And then I'll pop that to one side. If I was doing two nails, I would more than likely go ahead and cut out the opposite one. So I've got it ready. So your cut out nail decal will look something like this. So I'm going to take my water pot and I'm just going to drop the nail decal face down into the pot. And we're going to leave that for about five seconds just to soak up all of the water and then we can remove that backing sheet. So now that's had about five seconds in the water, I'm going to grab my jelly stamper and my tweezers and I'm just gently going to pick up my nail decal and place that down on my jelly stamper and then with my finger I'm just going to wiggle around that backing sheet until it slides off really easily it should just slide straight off if it's not coming off straight away it needs more time in the water so we'll just move that to one side and just make sure the nail decal is flat on the stamper so once you've got your nail decal there ready on the stamper it's quite hard to see uh, the good thing about these jelly stampers is you can see all the way through 
So we can see our nail decal there. Let's just make sure it's the right way around. So we've got the pumpkin and the florals. Now, like I said, my nail is prepped with a base coat and it's been cured, so it's quite tacky. So this nail is quite large. It's a thumbnail from my extension kit, um, but it's just easier to show you on a larger surface area. So what I would do is hold the client's nail still and I would use this tunnel to look down at where my nail decal was going on the nail. Just make sure that's nice and straight. And then you would go down. Try and get your position in right. So that is now pushed up against the nail. What I tend to do is just give it a little bit of a wiggle round and round, make sure that there's no creases or air bubbles and then lift away. Super easy, really effective. So we've now got a bright, vibrant nail decal on the nail. You can see all of those colours because our background is white, it makes all the colours pop. And it's simple as that. So now I'm going to add a super shiny top coat. And then that goes in for 60 seconds to cure. So the next nail I'm going to show you is a creamy yellow off-white, um, something that's a bit darker than the white one that I previously showed you. And we're going to go with the Cowgirl collection. So we've got some yellows, oranges, whites, reds. I think we're going to go for these ones here. Or these ones. I think these ones. I think we'll go for these ones here. Um, and again, this is a thumb nail, so it's quite large. So in comparison to how big this would be on a natural smaller nail, it may overlap, it may sit directly in the middle. If any bits overlap, you can just file those little bits off. But we're gonna go with this one. So first of all, we need to just cut the one out that we need. So again, I'm just gonna really carefully cut around my nail decal, making sure I'm not cutting any of the others. And there we go. So you can just trim off any excess that you have around the outside that we don't need. And again, let's fetch the nail back. This is prepped, ready with a base coat. And I'm just going to pop the nail decal face down into the water and let that absorb. Five seconds. Okay, so it's been about five seconds. I'm gonna fetch my jelly stamper back in and my tweezers. And very carefully pick the nail decal up out of the water and place it down on my jelly stamper. Very gently, just remove a bit of that water. Again, I'm going to use my tweezers just to make sure that the nail decal is flat. Okay, so the boots are ready. 
for application. Just going to fetch my nail back in. Double check where we are. You can see straight down the jelly stamper. So you can see there, even on the cream background, the colours are still vibrant. We can still see all of the details. Once I finish this video, I'll do some close-ups of the different decals that I've applied. So we're just going to seal this one in with a top coat. So here are our two finished designs. We've got the autumn floral, which has got a pumpkin in there with it as well. The nail's completely smooth. The nail decals are very, very thin, um, so they don't cause any sort of lumps and bumps on the nail. And we've got the little cowboy boots, which is on the cream background, like you can see here, the colours are still vibrant, um, maybe not as bright as on the white, um, but again, these nail decals do need to be used on a light or white background, otherwise they just get lost um, due to them being slightly transparent. But if you didn't want to just use nail decals, these can be used alongside nail designs. So for example, on this one, we could do an orange French tip maybe you could have a bit of gingham going across the side um previously i've done lots of different halloween ones uh, and there'll be a character in the middle and some stripes and drips around the outside and um, so they're quite versatile you can use them in designs or just on their own a lot of my clients like a single color and then maybe on the ring finger we'll just add a bit of nail art or a nail decal um, they're really bright, really colourful. I do offer a custom sheet of nail decals. So each sheet has 20 images. So if I just show you on the Cowgirl collection, like I said previously, we have the images on the left hand side and then on the right hand side, they're the same, but they're just flipped. So if you want 20 images, we can get 20 images and then flip them onto this side. So you've got an image for one nail on one hand and an image for the other hand as well. So you've got alternative. Um, so feel free to message me, inquire about some personalized, unique nail decals. I can do you, you a sheet of mix and match. I can do you a theme sheet, um, whatever you want basically onto a nail decal just message me on Instagram. The listing is on the website on the nailnut.co.uk and I have actually got a discount code for you all to use. So if you use the code NEW15 at the checkout, you will receive 15% off your first order. So that's N-W-E, NEW15 for 15% off. Um, if you've got any more questions or like I say, you want any custom sheets doing, just drop me a message and I will get back to you. Thank you.